Hi, second grade. It's Miss Anderson here. I hope everybody's doing awesome. I am here with another one of our music lessons today. So everybody sit up straight. I want you to roll your shoulders up. Now roll them forward. Now turn your head all the way around. Make big circles with your head. Good. Now go the other way. Oh, good job. All right. Take a big breath in and let it out. I hope everybody is doing really good in second grade. And um, we're gonna start today with our hello song. So make sure you're singing along with me. All right. Okay, here we go, ready? Oh, one, two, ready, go. I'd like to say hello to you. I'm glad you're here today. We'll sing some songs and have a good time the North Metro Flex way. Don't forget. This time let's go, uh, we're just gonna do it one more time. So this time, the first part, we're gonna go really slow, so andante, okay? Think of slow, anything that is really slow, like a tortoise or a, um, a glacier or anything, anything you can think of that's really, really, really slow, okay? And then the second part, we're gonna go really fast. So think of something really fast, like a rabbit or a uh, race car or something like that, okay? But we're gonna start out nice and slow like a tortoise or a turtle or something like that here we go one two ready go i'd like to say hello to you i'm glad you're here today we'll sing some songs and have a good time the north metro flex way now second part is really fast one two ready go don't forget to give a smile and clap your hands Sing some songs and have a good time. The North Metro Flex Way. Good job, second grade. All right, so today we are going to finish, finally, we are going to finish our book about um, M is for Melody. Remember this one? Okay, so we've gotten almost to the end. We only have three left. Actually, one, two, three. We have four left that we're going to finish today, and then we're going to uh, do some other things. So, Right here, I believe we left on W, which is W for woodwinds. So I'm gonna get up here so you can see the book. I'm gonna try not to knock my guitar over. All right, so I know we talked about woodwinds in class, so see if you remember any of these instruments that I'm gonna talk about here. All right, now W is for the woodwinds. They are shaped like hollow poles. When the air flows through the tube, it comes out through the holes. All right. Um, oh, here's the second part. The woodwinds are a family, and we must not forget piccolo, flute, oboe, bassoon, English horn, and clarinet. So we've talked about most of those in class. And if you look at the page right here, this whole thing, it shows you which one is which. So over here, we have the piccolo. That's the smallest one that this guy is playing. Then we have the flute. Okay, this one's also pretty small, and that's the one that's silver. The clarinet, then the oboe. I don't know if we talked too much about the oboe. I can't remember, but this is the oboe. The English horn, I know we didn't talk about too much. This is the English horn, and over here is the bassoon. Does anyone see, or can anyone think of um, a woodwind that they're missing here that we've talked about? Because they're missing a major one that we haven't, that's not in, uh, in this book. That would be the saxophone, right? I don't know why they didn't put that one in here, but the saxophone is also a woodwind. All right, so here we go. It says, the woodwind family includes the piccolo, flute, oboe, clarinet, English horn, saxophone, and bassoon. Woodwinds make music when an air flows through the hollow tube and the player presses down on the different keys or holes of the instrument. Woodwind instruments were originally made from wood, but today some members, such as the flute, are made of metal or other materials. The bassoon, English horn, oboe, clarinet, and saxophone are reed instruments, which means they have a thin piece of plant fiber called a reed attached to the mouthpiece where the player blows. So it looks like a little piece of wood. Um, the saxophone is made of brass, but it is derived from a wooden clarinet and is a favorite woodwind instrument. So they talked about the saxophone in here, but they don't put the picture. 
All right, another woodwind instrument that you may know of is this thing right here, which is the recorder that the third and fourth graders are doing. This is actually a woodwind instrument. So if you can see, it's hollow. It's hard to see through it though on the camera. It's hollow, so when I blow through here, the air goes through, and then I cover up these holes to get different notes. Right? Okay, so it's the same thing, the same idea with the other woodwind instruments. All right, this is just a very simple woodwind instrument. All right, moving on. This is X. All right, X is, or xylophone begins with X. I'm sure you understand that all you need to play it is a mallet, that all you need to play it is a mallet in your hand. Up and down the scale I go, a little fast, a little slow. So you guys know what a xylophone is. We have some of them in, in the classroom at school. Um, and it has all the notes in a row just like this. And then you have mallets that you play it with um, that kind of look like drumsticks, but they have little balls on the end. All right. So the xylophone is a melodic percussion instrument. You can make, you can make a musical sound by striking it with a soft mallet. The xylophone has one or two rows of bars similar to piano keys. It is believed the xylophone originated in Southeast Asia and was possibly brought to Africa during years of trade or migration. Slaves from Africa were taken to Latin America, bringing the xylophone with them. And from there, it was brought to the United States. This is one of the first instruments many children learn to play. So it's got a long history, the xylophone does. All right. This one is one of my favorites. Y. Okay, we're on Y. Now, Y is for yodel. We sing without words and make high and low noises. It's, it's neat. Have you heard? So, have you ever heard of yodelay hee hoo? Yodelay hee hoo, right? That's a yodel. To yodel is to sing a song without words by alternating sounds from deep in your chest to high in your throat. Yodeling began in the Austrian Alps as a way for people to communicate from one mountain peak to another. Originally called, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce that word actually. Um, it had a different word or a different name originally. Each yell had a different meaning. Today, yodeling is an art form and an important part of a European folk music. So if you've ever heard of yodeling, hee hoo, that's yodeling. All right, very last one. Are you ready? Finally, Z, and Z is for zither, a flat box with strings. You strum them or pluck them, you do many things. So this right here is a type of instrument called a zither, which we don't see too often, all right? Since ancient times, the zither has been one of the most widely used folk instruments because it was easy to make and play. It is a flat instrument with 30 to 40 strings over it, um, over it and is played by strumming or plucking. Considered a folk instrument that evolved in the 18th century, the term zither is also applied to other similar instruments, including the dulcimer and another one. Um, so so the zither basically is a an instrument that is flat, that has a bunch of strings over top of it that you pluck or that you strum. So plucking and strumming, remember, I can do that on my guitar. And you can do that on other string instruments as well. But plucking, well, strumming is what I usually do, right? And that just means I'm hitting a bunch of strings at the same time. Plucking would be like this. Okay, so I'm hitting one note, if you can see my hand over here. I'm hitting one string at a time. So that's the difference between strumming and plucking. All right, but you can do that with a zither as well. All right, there's one last thing on here. Long ago, most people were able to make their own zither out of wood and strings. Today, you can make a zither by placing rubber bands around an empty shoebox. Give it a good strum or a pluck and see what sounds you can make. So you can make your own zither at home, which is kind of cool. All right. Um, and the last page, all it says is, 
Now here's the end of our musical spree, so please share your music with love A to Z. So I hope you remember some of the words that we talked about in this book, because there was a lot um, to get through, and there was a lot of stuff that we covered. So I hope that you remembered some of them, because some of them were kind of interesting, and some of them were just review. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do today is we are going to continue our song, Epo Itai Tai A. So I hope that you watched the video last week so you know this song. If you haven't, I want you to repeat after me. This is a Maori folk song from New Zealand, all right? So the words aren't in English, um, so I want you to listen to how I pronounce the words and then I want you to repeat them, okay? Ready? Epo itai tai a now you Epo itai now me Epo itai tai a now um then it goes Epo itai tai now you say it Epo itai tai then we go Epo ituki tuki now me, epo ituki tuki a. Now you, epo ituki tuki a. Good job. All right. Now I'm gonna sing the whole thing. If you remember it, I want you to sing with me. All right, and then we're gonna break it up just a little bit so we remember how it goes. But if you remember it, sing it with me. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Epo itai tai hey. listen I'm gonna sing a line and I want you to sing the line back okay so I go first then you repeat after me Epo itai tai hey now you now me oh Epo itai tai now you now me Epo itai tai now you Epo now me, Epo we tuki tuki. Now you, Now me, Epo we tuki tuki. Now you, Good job, second grade. Now let's try the whole thing together. Sit up nice and straight, take a big breath. Let up. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Epo we tie tie. Hey, oh, Epo we tie tie. Now, the next part here is the clapping part, okay? So we did a little bit of this, I think when we did, I think we did In the Hall of the Mountain King, I think I did that with this class. Um, we did a little bit of uh, body percussion or clapping, right? So we're gonna do the same thing with this song. Now there's three different things that we need to do. We need to pat, okay? So try that with me, pat two times, ready? Go, pat. Pat. Good. Now you need to clap two times. Clap, clap. Okay, do that with me. Ready? Go. Clap, clap. All right. Now the last thing you need to do is you need to cross your arms like this and you're going to tap your shoulders four times. So do that with me. One, two, three, four. Okay, so watch one more time. We're going to pat, pat, clap, clap, tap, tap tap, tap. So one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so try that with me. We're gonna do the whole thing together. Ready, go. Pat, pat, clap, clap, tap, tap, tap. Do it again. Pat, pat, clap, clap, tap, tap, tap. Do it again. Pat, clap, tap. One more time. 
Good job. All right, now this time we're gonna try it while singing, okay? So if you can't do it and sing at the same time, that's fine. Just do the actions, but see if you can do both. All right, so we start with our padding, so get ready. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. I almost ran out of breath. I need to make sure I take bigger breaths. So if you run out of breath, boys and girls, make sure you take bigger breaths when we start. Okay, let's try this again. All right, so if you didn't try it last time, join in with me this time. Here we go. One, two, start with a pat. Epo e tai tai hey. All right, now this time we're gonna go a little bit faster and then we're gonna try something um, with the guitar, all right? So we're gonna go a little bit faster, see if you can do it. We're gonna do it two times through, two times. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Epo we tie, tie, hey, oh, epo we tie, tie, hey. Epo we tie, tie, epo we tuki, tuki, epo. One more time. Epo e tai tai hey oh epo e tai tai hey epo e tai tai epo e tuki tuki epo e tuki tuki hey good job. All right, now this time I'm gonna play the guitar and you guys, I will sing with you, but I want you to try to do the actions while I do the guitar. Cause I can't do the actions while I'm playing the guitar, right? So you're gonna try to have to remind, uh, remember them on your own. All right, so let me see. I have to get the right chords, otherwise it won't sound right. All right, okay, so um, I'm just gonna play them first and I'm gonna say the action. So it'll go, um, and you can do them with me. So it'll go pat, pat, clap, clap, tap, 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 uh, pat, pat, Clap, clap, tap, 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 pat, pat, clap, clap, tap, 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 clap, pat, pat, clap, clap, tap, 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 tap. That's really hard for me to do both of those things at the same time. All right, so I'm going to sing it two times through. I want you to sing with me and see if you can do the actions. If you can't do both, just pick one. All right, here we go. One, two, ready, go. Epo we tie tie hey oh Epo we tie tie hey. Epo we tie tie Epo we tuki tuki Epo we tuki tuki hey. Epo we tie tie hey oh Epo we tie tie hey. Epo we tie. That's all I have for you this week. Um, we're gonna do some other stuff next week, so make sure you tune in and watch for this video um, that's gonna come to you on Thursday. So I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous rest of your day and a fabulous rest of your week, and I will see you next week. Bye, second grade.